All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, I think I fixed the FPS issue. It should be a little bit better, if not completely fixed at this point. Um, if not, I can fix it again in the future. I have other options I can try, but it should be pretty much not stuttering anymore. Um, so yeah, we've got the, the F3 looks pretty nice. We got, uh, how many FPS we got right now? 229, nice. All right, so we got some cows here. Um, those will be super, important I actually do want to continue breeding those so let's uh let's put some of this sand out of the way for now I need some space in my hot bar for the the wheat and then let's grab like a couple of these put, turn them into hay and then let's start um, breeding these guys because we want as many cows as we can get um, also, I'm not 100% sure about this, but if you uh, breed cows, I, I want to say that you might be able to, um, like, like a name tag kind of, to, like, make sure that the mob doesn't despawn from the world. I don't know if that's true at all, but uh, if it is, that would be amazing. But I, I kind of just made that up, so I don't know if that's true. <laughs> uh, I know if you do put a name tag on a mob, that it will not despawn for sure, so that's good. But uh, I don't have any nib tags right now, and I'm not going to waste those on cows for now. Uh, even though that would be a, not a terrible idea, actually. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let's get these guys to come over here first. I'm going to try to crowd them into a building, I think. Because uh, I'm walking too far away every time, I'm sorry. I should know how to do this. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. There we go. Everyone come on. Um, I'd like to crowd them into a build building so it's a little easier to hurt them and keep them confined. Uh, I don't really want to make a, like a cow pit right now, but I might need to. I just don't... I'm not sure where I would want to put it just yet, so I don't want to ruin anything by doing that. But yeah, uh, let's get all the cows over this direction somewhere. Um, how about this house? What's this house doing? Looks like a pretty big house right now. Uh, yeah, let's let's bring them in here. Why not? Can you guys fit through? Okay, as long as you aren't shoving. It's like they're having a little bit of trouble. Uh, try coming in one at a time. Try that. Push. Come on. Come on in. Nope. Okay. Uh, well, I could just destroy this and replace it. There we go. Alright guys, come on in. Get all four of them. Everyone come in, please. Then we'll repair this guy's house. Alright, that. And... That. I think that's how it went. And then let's, uh... We also gotta replace this torch that we moved accidentally. It's right here. I know you guys want to escape, but we're not doing that right now. We're going to have you guys make some babies. Yay, the parrots and the bats. Alright, let's eat this, and then, um, as I said in the previous video, we're going to go ahead and uh, head back to the other place. Actually, I'm going to drop some stuff off here. Um, kind of want to... Uh, we'll, we'll stay here for now. We'll make this our little like base of operations just for now. I do need more wood, so let's, let's grab some wood from somewhere. Maybe this tree? Um, obviously I'll need to replant the tree. Uh, yeah, punching some wood, no big deal. And... Boom. Let's get a sapling real fast so I can replant the tree. Just real fast. There we go. Perfect. Oh, where did it go? Oh, I already had a sapling. I forgot. Well, that's alright. Uh, but yeah, let's grab... Okay, it's about night time, so we'll stick the through the night just before we head off to grab the camel. Uh, you guys are being a little bit annoying to the, uh, the villagers here, but okay. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's let's plus put this uh, crafting table down. We're gonna make uh, just one chest for now. 
and place that right here. Let's drop all the stuff that we really don't need for right now. Like all of this. Uh, we can keep that over there for now. Don't really need any of this. Uh, we'll keep the bones just in case we find a dog, but I don't think we're going to find one on the way there. Plant and steel we didn't need. We don't need that. We don't need that. The saddle we do need, so that should be pretty much all of it. Uh, I'm going to grab this for now. Um, in the future, I won't have to be grabbing these. I can just plunk them everywhere, but for now, I do want to just uh, have some of those. Uh, let's see, how many do we want? Let's make 32 for now, torches. Hopefully these guys don't bother the villagers too much. Let me, um, let me use your bed real fast. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not sure what... Oh! I'm not sure what the little, uh, little star is around when I use their bed. Is. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um, let's put that over there. And then... Ooh, an egg. Nice. Uh, oh, we got an enemy over here. Don't mind if I do. Grab some, some arrows and some bones. And we'll go ahead and grab some more of the sugar cane because it'll just re-row back. And the more we grab now, the less we'll have to wait for it growing later. Wait for it to grow later. Uh, and then we're going to go grab this camel, I think, is uh, our next course of action here. So let's, uh, let's head on over there and try to avoid the magma things forget what they're called exactly, but it's something around like that name. Uh, melons, we're not going to destroy too many of the melons. We already have plenty that we can replant and eat at the same time right now, so we'll ignore that for a minute. But let's head on back over to this, uh, this camel guy, if he is still there. I hope he is. That'd be really sad if he despawned. But maybe another one will spawn over the, in this area. We can hope. Uh, but yeah, the camels are the new one, a new bleh, one new addition that are pretty cool. Um, I know you a lot of the uh, the draw for the camels is that uh, well they can jump. Is it one one really cool thing that um, like jump like gaps actually like not just like a horse type of jump where it's a little bit like wonky and it's hard to jump like actual blocks um, forward, but you can jump blocks upwards pretty well um, with some horses at least. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, one nice thing about the, uh, the camels is that you can ride on top of them, and then when you do that, they are actually tall enough that they uh, melee the melee mobs, kind of. They can't actually reach you, so that's really cool, like zombies and such. Okay, so we're on our way back. We're not too much far away, no, farther away now. Getting pretty close, actually. See, let's head back over here. Wonder if those drowned are still around here. Oh, let's grab some more salmon while we're here, because I could just like have an army of cats, honestly. Or just food, I mean, that's also a good option. See, so, yeah, let's grab these guys real fast. Oh, hey, there's more. Go and then where'd this guy go? He's juking me. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, there he is. Ah, he's trying to hide in the seaweed. Clever girl. All right. I believe the yeah they do float. Okay. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure the fish float to the top. I think some things don't float actually, but um, the fish definitely seem to be at least these kind of fish. Maybe some other fish do, but um, they seem to float to the top of the, the water, so that's really useful. Alright, we got... that's my cat over there. I was like, what is that? There we go, okay. Uh, let's continue on over here, and work our way towards this island with the camel. Hopefully he's still there. Let's continue to grab these guys. I feel like the, uh, the water depletes your uh, respiration, basically. Bubbles, they deplete a lot faster than I remember. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy, though. It certainly feels like they are depleting a lot faster. 
than they used to. Alright, let's see if we can find this camel. Hopefully he's still here. Yay, he is still here. Okay, so I think you just have to plonk this on him, honestly. I don't... Oh. Oh. Oh, he's stuck. Okay, uh, you go ahead and don't, don't, uh, don't drown. <laughs> he does seem to be stuck though, so let's try to see if we can free him. Okay, that should, that should do the trick. I think? Oh, just kidding. Okay, never mind. It's not going to do the trick yet. He's a chunky boy, that's for sure. There we go. We did it. Oh. I had to press the wrong button. All right. Look at us go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so one thing is I'm not sure that they can swim that well. So uh, hopefully, I mean, it seems to be swimming OK. Yeah, okay, that's what I was wondering about that. I don't think it can swim very well. So I might need a lead. Or something. I wonder if there's a way to uh, lure a camel. I could kind of push him though, over there. We could make our way very slowly. <laughs> but I don't have a lead right now, so I, I don't really know of much of a better way to do this right now. It's a bit unfortunate it can't just swim, but I understand. The horses also don't allow you to swim, so that's something as well. Seems to be treading water pretty well, though. Nope, that's not the way. We want to go this way. This way, please. This way. All right, we're getting there slowly but surely. Sorry about this, uh, this guys, but I don't really know of a better way to do this right now. It's okay, man. We're going. We're going. We're getting there. Oh, there's a dolphin. Stop. Don't go that way. I need you going this way. All right, come on, buddy. <laughs> No, stop. Go this way. Go this way, buddy. Hey! Ah, oh, man. The camels look so good. I think I'm just going to mostly push him this, this way, because it looks like it's he has a bit of trouble with the uh, the good old swimming, and he likes to go this way. He's trying to like push against me, I think. Luckily, I think the, uh, the player pushes a little bit harder right now, so that's good. Yeah, we're almost there. Come on. Okay, so yeah, it, it does not jump in water like at all. That's something to notice. All right, perfect. And now we can hopefully make it the rest of the way without too much trouble. We just gotta do most of it on uh, on land. The sun's about to go down again, so be careful of that. Oh, I love the jump though. It does have a cooldown of it, it looks like, so that's something. Didn't mean to do that. Let's see, can it jump upwards? Let's try that again. I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, shoot, we have more of an area to go here, though, so that's not great. Let's try to get as far as we can. No, come back, come back. I need you this way. Yeah, we're gonna have to go across this for sure. But once we get to this little area right here, we should be pretty much home free. He's really pushing against me right now, though. He really doesn't want to go. I get it, buddy. You'll be okay, though. We're almost there. Oh, uh, come on. Need you going that way, please, sir. 
almost there. Hey, nice. Okay, we did it. See, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. All right, so we got the cat following us as well. So that's good. Um, I think this can. Oh, maybe it doesn't actually. I think let's cross over here, so we don't have to ford the river too much. I don't remember if it crosses from over there. So let's try to get a bit of a jump here. Pretty good. It worked pretty well there. And then let's head on over to the uh, the good old um. What do you call it? The village. Yeah. Of course, it doesn't look like it sprints that fast, but we can do the jump thing to go faster. Although it looks like when he, uh, after he jumps, he he has a has to recover, so he doesn't like run quite as fast. That's something to note. I really need to get that sweet spot though. Are we going into the jungle at night? Probably not the best idea. Looks like it doesn't have a very good upward jump though either. It's mostly just like a forward type of jump, so that's something interesting to know. And it seems to be, of course, taller than the horse for obvious reasons. So that's something to note as well. Let's try to get through this place before it becomes too dark. Oh, we got some piggy. Some nice, that's nice, we can use that as some meat for the future. Um, looks like we have to cross another thing of, uh, another thing of water though, which is really not great. Can you jump up there? No. Okay. Uh, looks like we might have to just push him across this, which is not fun. I should have gone over there and gone all the way around though. Well, that was my mistake. Um, let's see if we can make our way back a little bit to that area. Probably not that direction. Okay, yeah, we need to go over there for sure. Try to skirt our way around a little bit here. The zombies shouldn't be able to get to us because we're too tall, I believe. Ow. Of course, when he's like on top of us, he'll be able to get to us, but... Okay, yeah, so we're just going to have to ford this river from the looks of it. Doesn't look like a... Much of a choice to be able to do that. Alright, come on, buddy. I'll protect you, don't worry. Don't you worry. Pushing your butt across. I should have crossed over there. And it looks like I didn't even need to do that first crossing, but that's okay. We're getting it, we're figuring it out. And continue to push. Almost there. And there we go. We did it. Alright. Let's make our way around that so we can avoid that. That'd be good. And then we've got a archer. Little skeleton boy. Let's do a little bit of a jump. And then let's do another jump. Oh, okay, that didn't work. But that's fine. I don't think spiders can reach me either, so that's pretty cool. Oh, we got this, uh, this little ravine type of thing there. There we go, the jump worked that time. And then we're almost back. Perfect. Hey, don't hurt my camel. What are you doing, bro? I wonder how you restore the health of the camel. I don't think you can put... Um, oh, that's left open accidentally, okay. Go back in, buddy. Let's put this, put this uh, little, baby cam uh, little baby cow in. Okay, so... Um, I definitely want him to just chill. I don't know if he'll, like, wander off. <laughs> that's one of my worries here. 
But yeah, let's uh, let's take out some of these zombies. Don't let, want them terrorizing the village. Terrorizing. Uh, maybe you can heal them with the. Maybe they automatically heal. I'm not sure about that. I was wondering if they um. If they possibly heal from the hay bales or something like that. Let's heal from hay. I'll have to do some research on that though, because it doesn't seem like it. Um, but yeah, let's make a little bit of a pit here, I think. Oh, this takes a while while, while you're on the guy, okay. Yeah, you just chill there, bro. Have to make some ladders to get in and out of this, probably. And then, um... I don't think you can walk up two high blocks, so this should be plenty. Uh, let's get the sandstone out of the way and put the dirt in the inventory so we can get in and out pretty easily. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, well this is uh, really unfortunate. I may die here, not gonna lie. <laughs> wow, that's uh, that's really unfortunate. I don't know where that horde of zombies came from, but um, they certainly came. And then I was I was trapped down there. So that was unfortunate. Uh, do I have my sword anywhere? Let me guess, it's in the pit. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's bring these guys away from the uh, from the pit so I can get in and out of there. All right, there we go. Then I need my sword. Yeah, all these guys came out of nowhere. <laughs> Okay, there's also a skeleton, it looks like. Well, it's quite unfortunate that I died already, but... Uh, how it be, I guess. Hopefully this uh, archer won't just kill me. Ouch. Let's heal up a bit. We are very wounded. Let's honestly just go ahead and sleep too. Oh, just kidding. Alright, let's rearrange our inventory again. Um, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's put the coal up there again. Wood there. Put the, all the dirt somewhere around here. And yeah, that should be pretty good. Oh, we got the wandering trader here. Nice. Bye, buddy. What, uh, what you got, buddy? Are you inside the house there? Oh, that could have almost been really bad. This is quite the night we're experiencing here. Well, uh, looks like the wandering trader is gone, wherever he went. Maybe he got killed by all that horde of, um, horde of zombies. Uh, I would really prefer your, uh, your leads. So yeah, let's, that's really nice. He's like underground or something. Or oh, he's invisible? Oh, here he is. That's weird. That's so weird. He's like completely invisible right now. <laughs> Maybe he's hiding from the uh, the zombies or something. 
But yeah, uh, so he should be pretty much trapped in there. It's almost day actually, so I don't even really need to sleep. But uh, I'm going to go deposit some stuff in here. And also try to breed these guys a little bit more. Uh, let's put this in there. Don't need all of this. Arrows will keep for now. I'm going to place this back down and make I need another sword. And I also need a... Uh, shovel. I don't know why I put that there. I need the shovel. Go like that. And then... Let's see. Yeah, that should be pretty good. And then let's get this wheat and start breeding these guys again. So we can have as many of those as possible. Put the wheat back in there for now. Uh, I'll go ahead and make a second chest so we can make this do a double chest. That'd be good. And then we'll, we'll organize that a little bit later. But um, yeah. It's been quite a spicy night, but we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.